Hello friends it's Sonia here from Growing Craft and I'm back with another tutorial and today I'll be doing a little experiment just for a child to play with gesso and shimmer paints so to start with I have this 250 gsm thick cardstock where I'm going to apply a thick coat of gesso as I said it's an experiment I really wanted to see if I can have some texture or some effect with my gesso and that's the reason I'm applying a very thick coat uh, still with the some odd even things on it like I'm going to apply a rough patch on some portion and smooth portion on some sides so let's see the effect only we can say is only when it dries out completely and when we'll be playing with the colors on it once my gesso has dried out completely it has to be really dried out completely then only you can start with the colors so I am using my shimmer paint and I am using a wet wipe so this is the technique which I learned from Vicky and I really wanted to try it and this one is really amazing trust me so with my wet wipe I am just going to take a drop of color and smudge it on my tag so I'm starting with the corner so that I know that how and where I need to go and how dark and light I need my color. So if you need a darker shade, you can apply a little more color. I wanted to be it, give it a very natural look. So I'm playing around with giving a dark and a light shade on some parts and the other. I'm sure you can see some of the dark patches on my tag. So that is because of the gesso what I have done with the thick and the thin layer combination and this is how exactly I wanted my tag to be once my tags has dried out completely now I'm going to stamp this cute little butterfly on it I'm just going to do the random stamping. I'm not very particular about the location of my stamp and my sentiment. And this looks pretty good. The only difference is my stamp uh, is sticking to my base. Although when I touch my paper, it's not sticky. But as long as my results are good, I'm really okay with it. And it's not uh, damaging my stamp. So that's fine. Now, again, I'm going to use... Uh, same wet wipe the other corner where from where i've already tried the purple uh, in another tag and i'm going to take a drop and now color my butterflies with purple the best part of using wet pipe what i really felt is like when you're doing a particular or uh, place stamping or a particular uh, art or uh, motive stamping and after the coloring you realize that maybe some on the other part of color has come out from your motive so it's very easy to just wipe it out with your wet wipes so this is super easy technique and now I'm really happy with my butterfly and the coloring so now I'm be showing you my another tag which I did without the gesso and you can easily make out the difference in the two cards so the blending was not that easy the color looks a little patchy on the right hand side tag which does not have the gesso and for sure the gesso one looks pretty cool and pretty cute I'm using my black gel pen to darken my edges of my butterfly as it has faded out after doing the purple shade and my tag is ready off camera I'm going to add my sentiment punch the tag and add some ribbons to it I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any queries please feel free to comment below I'll be more than happy to help you and do subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching take care